Prey. More specifically, Prey 2017. Because there was another game called Prey in 2006, I seem to recall, and this game has absolutely nothing whatsoever to do with that game, apart from apparently sharing a name. I'm not entirely certain whether or not that's even intentional. I mean, Bethesda does own the rights to the title Prey, but to connect this game and the shooter from 2006 seems almost baffling. As far as I can tell, Bethesda just had the name lying around, and seems to have just slapped that name on this game, which has nothing to do with it. This is an immersive sim made by Arcane Studios. They'd previously been known for Dishonored, which was genuinely a really excellent stealth action game, and they made this game, and then they made Redfall and kind of screwed up their entire... <laughs> uh, their entire image. Yeah, that was not received very well. I almost bought Redfall, and played it, uh, but my policy on never pre-ordering games came in clutch on that one. So, yeah. This game, however, has been received exceptionally well. It's supposed to be really hardline immersive sim. It's supposed to be a lot of fun with a lot of player control, and I am looking forward to getting my teeth into this one. Let's press a key. So, I am going into this one exceptionally blind. I know almost nothing about this game. I know that it's an immersive sim in the vein of System Shock, one of the many spiritual successes to System Shock 2. I know that it's set on a space station, and that's pretty much everything. I've been playing through an immersive sim line, so this has been on my radar for quite a while. Uh, I've played through all the Bioshock games, I've recently finished the System Shock remake. So, I'm looking forward to seeing what this does differently, what this does better, than all the other ones I've played so far. Like all my other series, I will be uploading three episodes a week. About 40 minutes to an hour long is my usual mode, until the game is finished. So if you want to stay tuned for that, subscribe. Leave a like and a comment, and all the other things you're supposed to say at the beginning of a series. Let's just quickly look at the options. I want subtitles on. I got Before I f forget to do that, I'll leave everything in gameplay on default. Controls, I'll learn that in time, probably. Probably not, but we'll see. Um, yeah. I had to turn the music down a bit, it was quite loud. Uh, yep. Graphics are all nice and lovely. Adaptive resolution FPS target. Well, it's not on, so it doesn't matter. I usually have... I'm just gonna... I usually put horizontal FOV to about 90. I might just pump that up, but apart from that, everything looks pretty good. Yeah, I, I, I don't really have that much to say. Let's just get into it. It's not, you know, sit about here gas-bagging about the game. I, I, I know nothing about it to start with, so... It's not like I have any kind of precognitive ability to make any guesses or speculations at this point. I've got nothing. Let's start a new game. Uh, we've got three campaign slots. Pick one. Difficulty. Survival mode options. Huh. Difficulty. Okay, so you've got... Story. Survival is all but guaranteed. Easy. Survival won't be a problem for you, probably. Normal, you use your wits, weapons, and abilities to survive. Hard is, your wits are the only thing that will keep you alive. Or nightmare, nothing can save you. I'm torn between normal and hard here. Huh. I'm, I'm, I'm very unlikely to change the difficulty level once I get into it, so I think... My initial position was to start normal, and if it was too easy, maybe go up to hard. But you know what? Let's just start hard. Let's just play this game in hard. Survival mode options. A set of optional modifiers to make the game more challenging. Options cannot be uh, be changed beyond this screen. Not recommended for inexperienced players. Okay, well, since I haven't played this game, this is probably not great, and I would definitely not turn on weapon degradation. As you trauma statuses to the game, such as bone fracture, concussion, hemorrhage, and third degree burns, and oxygen. So this get this gives it a bit more realism. You know what? I'll leave that off. Let's just go into it with the regular settings. Standard hard, no survival mode. Let's continue. Oh, we actually get to choose our character. Male or female? Um. Either way, we've got the same name. We are M.U. 
Hmm. How much difference could this possibly make? I'm honestly, I'm surprised. I didn't know the game would give you an option. I just presumed there would be a character that you were the protagonist of. But, you know what? I'm running Death Stranding as my other series, and that's got a male protagonist. So why don't we pick the female character for this one? Just to sort of balance out the scales a little bit. No reason not to. You wake up in your apartment in the year 2032. Uh, every now and then I really think a sci-fi game needs to settle itself a little bit further in the future than it thinks it is. Because 2032 seems too close. But I believe there's some alternate timeline stuff going on here as well. Press any button. I didn't Good get to- Good morning, Morgan. Today Morgan. is Monday, March 15th, 2032. Okay. It's less than 10 years in the future. I mean, even, I mean, even when this game was released, it was only 15 years. Ooh. I thought we were on a space station. I think we'll get there if we're not... If that's not a hologram or something. Incoming call Wait, from you. Alex Yu. You're burning daylight. You sent the helicopter to pick you up. It's just a few tests. Don't forget to wear your suit. See you soon. Oh. Uh, Listen, I, uh, pretty great you decided to come on board. We're gonna shake things up, Morgan. Like old times. Okay, I don't think we have a voice, or at least she hasn't spoken yet, so I wonder how much changing your gender is actually gonna make a difference, apart from occasionally looking in the mirror. Or inventory screens or whatever. The one thing I know about this game is the fact that the character keeps looking into the mirror and messing around with his eyes. That's what I remember from some of the trailers back in the day when I did hear something mentioned about this game. I don't remember the initial release being that good. I seem to... Oh, the door is jammed. I'm gonna have to... Hang on, just have a look around. There's a lot around here already. I'm noticing that this place is jam-packed full of stuff. We've got the closet door. We got Neuromod application instructions. I don't know how much of this I'm going to read. Do I need to pick up any of this stuff? Should I pick up as much as I can take? How much can I take? I can't see... An oh, hold on. There it is. I for inventory, not tab. I have got a limited inventory that I can expand later on. I have data I can read. Looks like there's going to be a lot. I'll, as usual, I'll pick up whatever I see, and if I don't see it, I'll decide how much of it to read or how much of it to go back for which one's important probably i'll just pick up what i pick up i'm not a completionist this looks like a no i don't know what that is it's a welding tool actually or something maybe a solder right this is my computer I want to... Alright, let's start with the first note I saw, which is Neuromod Application Instructions. Let's read that. Warning. Neuromods should only be administered by certified Transtar technicians. I think we got our Megacorp, Transtar, under controlled conditions. Subject may experience sight, slight discomfort, swelling, or redness of the eye shortly afterwards, which is what I've seen in some of the very small sections of trailer I've seen. I think this was in an E3 trailer, I vaguely remember, but I was... I, I do remember the red eye. Uh, removed Neuromod from vacuum sealed container. Press rubberized eye cap firmly against the bony orbit of eye socket. Keep the eye open. Depress the orange trigger and continue to hold Neuromod against the eye for five minutes. Dispose of used Neuromod in provided biohazard bag. That sounds absolutely wonderful. I don't want to try that. I I'm, I'm guessing I'm going to take this stuff. Do I need a burnt circuit board? You know what? If it's a burnt circuit board, I probably don't need to pick it up. Uh, speech synthesis and natural language generation. Excerpt from chapter 3 of Speech Synthesis, synthesis and Natural Language Generation by Sebastian Smythe. Put more of those sibilants in there for me, it's great. Voice conversion technology enables synthesis systems to generate speech patterns based on their source or entirely new voices. Without the need for exhaustive recordings and pre-processing, the quality of the resulting voice depends on the training data as well as the precision of the conversion function and limitations of processing power. So it's an AI-generated neural network that creates voices, much like 
something that's happening in real life. There's kind of AI voices things. Hands on electronics. Am I gonna read all of this? Is that necessary? Let's take this frayed wire. That might be useful. This, I think there's a crafting system in this game, isn't there? I can climb onto here. I'm just on my desk now. This is normal. Except from the preface of Two Hands on Electronics by Antoinette Sokol. By a just, by, sorry, by working through a series of pro uh, practical experiments, this humble manual will introduce you to the fundamentals of modern analog and digital electronics. By the end, you will be able to construct any simple circuit, as Thomas Edison once said, to invent. You need a good imagination and a pile of junk. All right. Our uh, p password is F Paradox. Okay, stronger than a lot of passwords I've seen. Very well. Uh, use that. I've got three emails. Oh, this is an actual thing, actually. This is quite good. Uh, congrats and welcome from Thomas Tucker to Morgan Yu, uh, CC to Alex Hugh, who is presumably a relative of ours. So, m maybe, I'm just based on that. A lot of people are called Yu, in fairness. You maybe have no relation whatsoever, but... Seems likely. Hello, Morgan. Uh, glad to hear you'll be coming aboard soon. This is presumably to the Talos station. Your official workday is Monday, March 15th, but we first have a series of training exercises we run with all new employees. Just some stuff to clear you for life in all, but exciting times ahead. I have a good flight and I'll see you soon, so I'm going to get some tutorializing, I hope. Delivery. Hey, I sent a package with everything you'll need for the first day. Uniform, transcribe, and a neuro mod. Install the neuro mod right away and we'll be running some tests first thing in the morning. Just follow the instructions, I'll be in touch. Are you ready? Yes, okay, so, brother. I just got off the phone with mum and dad. They won't be there when the shuttle departs. They're in New York, company stuff. But they send their best, and I think mum's a little disturbed that both her children are going to be outside her gravitational pull at the same time. She said you'd better behave and do everything your big brother says, okay? No, actually, she said the opposite. I'm supposed to behave and, to, uh, and do what you tell me, so there you go. That's mum. Anyway, everyone's excited about your ideas up there, so get ready. I'll prob call you in the morning to make sure you're up. Which he did. Man of his word out, brother. See you very soon. See you very, very soon, Morgan. Alex. Right. So we've got a caring brother and a family that, uh... Oh, I can pick up this... This tape and throw it. <laughs> Alright. Awesome. And now I've got the solder. And if I just drop it, it puts it back down. Good, that's actually quite fluid. Principles of New- Wow, there's two- I'm not reading all this. Midnight Songs, a classic anthology of Tang Dynasty verse. Introduction, a survey of parapsychological meta-analysis. Really, they did their- they did work with this. An account of Fermi's question. How about this one? This was on the coffee table, it seems a bit more important. Excerpt from a book on the existence of extraterrestrial intelligence by Dr. Robert James III. Consider that there are billions of stars in the galaxy like our sun. Many of them are far older. Some of these stars will have Earth-like planets. Some of these planets will have developed intelligent life. Some intelligent life may develop interstellar travel. If a civilization began before ours, it seems possible, even probable, that even at the speed of currently envisioned interstellar travel, they could already have the entire galaxy colonized. The problem is, we haven't detected any such civilizations, nor have any contacted us. Why? And thus is stated the Fermi Paradox. There are a few possible answers to that. Two controllers for a games console I'm not familiar with because it's not real. It's a f it's looks like a DualShock 2 that's been slightly modified. Actually, it's got arrow keys instead of a X square triangle and circle button. But it's definitely not... Xbox style. And there's a trash can so we can search through various things. Can I have a shower? Yes. I always have showers. I'm, I'm clothed for this, by the way, so I've just made myself ridiculously... I'm just damp now. Handbag. Heart of the Wok. Cooking book. Woks are great. Woks are vital, in my opinion. Sun-dried tomato jerky. Probably don't need that. I won't take that with me to space. And glue assist. So you can even pick up, like... 
I presume this is like these have health benefits or like will increase your health. Uh, various types of food. I want to read Heart of the Wok. I'm a big fan of woks as, as a cooking implement. Cooking with a well-seasoned wok can be a sublime, almost spiritual experience. The many layers of the blackened surface are like stored memories of all the meals that have gone in and out of the carbon steel bowl before now. Before, now imparting echoes of their rich flavor to every meal it is tasked to cook. Also, it's really convenient to have one thing that can do almost any kind of cooking you need to do. Uh, Kings and Way sparkling wine. Let's read this note. Congrats, Morgan, from Alex. Thank you, Alex. We seem to have good relations with our brother. Except from the architects of the neurological revolution. What if I told you I could turn you into a mathematician on the level of Einstein in under 10 minutes? I'd say that you're full of it. That's the first thought that crosses my mind, but it's... But it withers within the face of Alex Yu's conviction. Despite myself, I'm riveted. He's not bullshitting me. Himself, maybe? Me, no. Alex leans back in his chair. Welcome to the age of the Neuromod. So Alex, our brother, seems to have developed a way to inject information directly into our brains. This is not opening, so I can't have a look. Hmm, city? Doesn't look like the states. Could be... That's not the Golden Gate. This could be Japan, actually. The mountains are very odd, or it might be Europe. Hard to tell. Alright, fine. Let's put on our uniform. I've done enough bumbling around in my apartment. Stick it on. Animation's very nice. Alright. Open the door. We seem to move at a consistent jog. No walking in this one. Alright, this one's locked. Morning, is you. Hello. Can we get someone down here to check if she's mic'd up properly? <laughs> okay, shift to sprint, space to jump, C to crouch. You're sitting... This... Okay, either I've got something's wrong with my... Hold on. Let's put everything at 50. I think I'm going to... Stick everything down to 50, otherwise it seems to be mixed weirdly. But the actor in that one sounded too close to her mic. Like, she's peeking it. And we can slide. I like sliding. Awesome. Uh, roof or my floor? Head to the roof. I'm liking it so far. Setting up a nice world here. I should have read all those books, but let's be honest, nobody's reading all of the books in the apartment. And the helicopter, which is not taking me to space, but it's probably taking me to the shuttle. We get our own helicopter, so we're quite wealthy. We're not, like, just some rando. We warrant our own helicopter. A extremely tastefully furnished helicopter at that. Our brother, someone important at the company, Ms. someone high up on Please the make yourself comfortable and we'll be on our way. corporate ladder. Transport he invented is just a short something hour. or funded something. 78 degrees. Clear skies all the way. Thank you. You're very loud in my ear. So we're part of the elite in this world, which is an interesting and neat start. No working our way up the chain for this one. We were probably sitting pretty at the top from birth. And I like this music. That's a nice view on the bay there. <laughs> An Arcane Studios production. Yeah, which bay? Do you want to tell me where we are? There's a lot of hills around us and a big city. Definitely doesn't feel like anywhere in America or Europe for that matter, so Southeast Asia could be Indonesia, could be Japan. I mean, it'll tell me or it won't. So, if I don't know what it is, I'm probably not going to guess. And there's the title. Prey. Interesting way of doing it. I must have... I might have missed a credit sequence, but it's, it's very nice. It's a very nice integration of the credit sequence. Here we are, Ms. Yu. 
Thank you. Mind the glass on the way out. Good luck to you. Mind the glass. I wasn't going to walk into it. It's actually fairly easy not to. Get out of the way of the blades. I don't like standing under helicopters for too long. Transstar, and the credits are gone. Alright. There is a floating drone here. This is a very impressive tech for less than 10 years in the future. Or just over... Was it 2032? Yeah, less than. Nine years in the future. Hello, science operator. I'm a civil 495 science class operator. Okay. It won't be long before you're on a shuttle bound for Talos 1. The last frontier is the human mind, and we are its pioneers. William Yu, an ancestor, so we're probably related to the founders. Very interesting. This is completely not what I, I'm used to with these kinds of games. Usually you are some absolute nobody. Our research often requires intense focus and long hours. I can provide you with a psychoactive stimulant after the test, if necessary. That's very nice of you. The, the first thing, I walk into the building and the first thing is the robot offers me drugs. Transtar has over a dozen state-of-the-art facilities across the globe. More, if you count the entire Earth-Moon system. Wow. Interplanetary Megacorp. These are always the good guys. Welcome, Morgan Yu. You have a 9 a.m. appointment in the testing facility. Please confirm. Okay, yes, I seem to recall. Actually, Z to examine. Oh. Just sort of focuses on it. I suppose that's how you do, like, puzzles on screens and stuff. Okay, confirm. I suppose I must have a 9 a.m. appointment somewhere. Oh, it's a big building. Level 71. Morgan. Hello, Finally. Alex. Uh, just look around here. All right, let's speak. We do not speak. We are clearly a silent protagonist. Which... Okay, fair enough. No, we're not talking to you. You're just there. Hey. You know, I gotta go up to you. You don't look terrible in a transfer uniform. How's your eye? Still red? I know the test might seem a little unconventional, but it's a you family tradition. Breaking convention is in our blood. Once you start the test, just do whatever comes natural. You're voiced by Benedict Don't Wong, I think. it. Dr. Bellamy's gonna walk you through the process. You're in good hands. I'm just buffering trying It'll to recognize his voice. Detection. I'm sure it is. I promise. Mr. Yu, they're ready for your sister in room A. Right. All Listen. right. Just be yourself. I'll see you after. Thank you. I'm gonna Dr. check Yu. that. Who's Dr. Yu, him or me? I, I think I'm Ms. Yu. Everyone's referred to me as Ms. Yu, not doctor, so I don't have any... I don't have a doctorate in any case. I may have some qualifications. Good Press morning, Morgan. the button. Hello, Dr. I'm Bellamy. Dr. Bellamy. Looks like we have some tests to run through today. The Probably tutorial level, I'm looking forward to it. To, I imagine, but trust me, you're going to do fantastic. All good? Great. Let's begin. For this first test, I'd like you to remove the boxes from the red circle as quickly as you can. Just go with your gut. Okay? Wonderful. Press the red button when you're ready. Remove the boxes from the red circle. Okay, press the button and just lift them off. What are you testing my cognition? Wonderful. That's, That's my motor. You're absolutely fine. <laughs> what? Uh, let's move that didn't sound convincing, man. Are you testing my motor functions or something? We have to do these all in different rooms. You can just reset that for this bit. Okay, this isn't a tutorial. This is actual tests. Okay, Morgan. Listen carefully. I'd like you to do your best to hide in this room. Take your time. Relax. Think it over. No, I'm kidding. You only have nine seconds. Hit the red button when you're ready to start. Hide? Where exactly? What are you talking about, hide? There's nowhere to hide. Just press the red button. Hide from what, you guys? Can I... Morgan, we can see you there. Hmm, uh, what? 
That's, that doesn't make sense. Synaptic register at all? No? No, that's fine. There's nowhere to hide. That's a silly test. Sorry, let's keep things moving, Morgan. No, I'm not. See. You're doing marvelous. Patronizing. It's just because I'm related to the... Because I'm related to big wigs that you're just pretending that I'm able to do all this. When clearly... Okay, this one I could have hidden in. Like, if I crouched here. All right. Okay. What do you want me to do? Here we go. For this test, please press the blue button across the room as quickly as you can in the most natural, intuitive way possible. Without thinking. Just, just go for it. Okay, jumping over the Press wall. The red button when you're ready. I'm gonna I'm gonna vault over this wall. I'm sorry, can someone please explain to me what's happening? What happened? is happening? Simmons? I installed exactly what Tina brought down. Did you double check? Speaker's still on. I apologize, Morgan. We're having some trouble with the equipment. Not what your you? fault. You're doing fabulous, actually. One last room. Let's step into D. What is this? See, that feels good. Just wanted to test that, the vaulting. But I didn't understand hiding in room B. I don't know what I'm supposed to do there. Clearly, maybe you are just supposed to fumble about room D. Can so what What do you think is wrong? I would appreciate it. Thank you. Okay, mm, Morgan. Dr. Bellamy. Have a seat at the table for me, please. Very well. What is going? Wonderful what do you think is happening? Take a look at the screen in front of you. I'm okay. going to show you a series of questions. Pick the answer that makes the most sense to you. Press start on the screen when you're ready. All right. So you're doing tests on motor functions, locomotion, and also cognition. Very well. Start. Whenever you're ready, Morgan. Sorry, F. You are planning a vacation, going some go somewhere familiar, you know you love, or try something new. Uh, something oh. new. I think. Good. Looks like you've got the hang of it. Keep going. I was thinking for a second. You've been sentenced to death for your actions. How does this make you feel? Uh, <laughs> afraid, I don't know what will happen. Angry, no one has that right. Or calm, it was worth it. Uh, how about angry, no one has that right, because I'm a rich aristocrat. Ooh, that's heavy stuff. Oh, I'm all kinds of egotistical. Uh, a runaway train is bearing down on five people who are tied to the track. You can cause the train to switch tracks, but there is a person tied to the second track. The trolley paradox, the trolley question, or whatever the term is called. Uh, switch tracks or do nothing. Switch tracks and become responsible for one person's death, or do nothing and technically not be responsible, but still let five people die. I mean, the the question is always difficult. Do you become responsible for a man's death, or do you allow five people? Like, I think switch tracks, but it's borderline. Like, I don't think there's a correct answer to this, but I'm going to say switch tracks purely as an intellectual exercise. At the logical level, fewer people are being harmed, even if I'm the one that's now officially in, in, responsible. But taking the responsibility is in many ways worthwhile switch tracks good next <laughs> a runaway train is bearing down on five people you're standing on the platform next to an enormously fat man pushing him onto the track would stop the train then there's a very different uh you were actually actively Like would would the would a I don't care how fat a man is it's a it's a train. This is going to go straight through him. But it says would stop the 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 train. Of course, in real life, if you were taking this as a moral exercise, isn't there a game that basically is all of this the trolley problem, just over and over again, various levels of it. Remember, I think I saw a many a true nerd do a video on that one. I really ought to try that one out. It'd be fun. Uh, sure, yeah, no, I'll kill someone. Almost done. A runaway train 
is bearing down on five people tied to the track. You could stop the train by jumping onto the track, but you would die. <laughs> Push the fat man again. Uh, I presume this is still the same scenario. I could still push the fat man, jump onto the tracks myself, or do nothing. Huh. Well, it, I can't do nothing. I have to either jump on the tracks myself or push the fat man. Let's take the noble option on this one. Maybe maybe we're trying not to seem like dicks. We're trying to be like... Like, this is just fronting. I, I don't know if I'd actually do this. I don't really know what my character is. If they have any kind of, if she has any kind of personality of her own. Let's jump on the tracks. Wow. I'm impressed. Yeah, by my ability well to done. press a button well knowing done. that I'm being observed. We're nearly through it. Which would affect the For outcome of the test. I may not be being entirely I want truthful. I to take a good look at her. In a moment I'm going to ask you what, uh, my coffee. It looks like the king of the squid monsters, personally. Seeing a sort of... Oh, oh okay. Security! Security! That... That was the monster I saw in the intro... ...things. The sort of four-legged squid... ...thing. I was seeing something aquatic in that. Definitely something Alex. crown-like. Simmons, what's going on? We have a problem. What about Morgan? She's alive, sedated. Clean it up. I'm on my way. Hmm. That was not of this earth, I Good take morning, it. Good morning, Morgan. Today is Monday, March 15th, 2032. I can't remember what the date was originally, how long it's been. But not long, it's still March. Unless it's... We're back at where we started. What's the hell's gone on here? Are we in a virtual environment on the station? We're not actually on Earth. I think we are. I don't think any of this is real. This is still jammed. That, that's that been put back. I threw it away. Hands on electronics. I guess I'll take the frayed wire and the used plastic tubing again. Yeah, all the books are in the same place. can pick this stuff up. This is all the same, but everything's a little more... Like, I'm noticing... Unless that was just always what it was. It looks chromatic aberration there. It looks like a, it's been distorted a smidge. I take it we're still putting on our uniform. Did my email say anything new? Six emails, okay. Danger, leave now, EOM. Oh, I just scrolled the wheel. Okay, that does a thing. I don't know what that does. Oh, I just hit... Okay. If I scroll back... Noth none of this does anything. I gotta click to get out of that. Okay. I don't know what it is. Probably something to do with neuro... Ports, or whatever that was called. Let's take a green tea. Or two green teas. Let's have some food on us. Just in case we need health for some reason. I think that's what that would do. That's usually what food does in video games, is heal you up. Let's suit up again. I'm pretty sure we're on the station now. That doesn't lean us, that just... Oh no, yeah it does. There's a dead... Ah, uh, you were probably the cleaning lady, and you were almost certainly a... A guard of some description. Patricia Varma. Oh. No, no, you were still the cleaning lady. You've just been entirely killed. I thought I could see a helmet on. No, that's just what your head is now. Take the wrench, naturally, gotta start one of these, wouldn't be one of these games, it wouldn't be an immersive Hello, sim if you didn't start off with a... It's time we spoke. My code name is January. You're not dreaming. What happened yesterday was real. If you want to know what's going on, first, you need to get out of your apartment building. You're not safe. Okay, you EOM, spare parts, so I guess I'll take those. Swing wrench with the mouse, yeah, it wouldn't be an immersive sim if you didn't start off with some kind of 
random piece of metal to hit people with. This, these are locked. Well... I guess I can hit something with this. <laughs> you can't break the TV. Um, can we smash open one of these doors? No. Those are locked. Get out of your apartment. I suppose I can smash the window... Here. Yep. Virtual environment. I knew it. You lying bastards. Who are you? Good. You're in the what do you want with me? Lab. Now get to the exit. I'll keep in contact. Hmm. What are they doing? What are they experimenting on me? What's wrong with me? They were treating me like... Not that I... No, I don't think they thought I was dangerous. Huh. Leverage three. I need leverage. Okay, so I need skills. I haven't learnt about them yet. Um... Read this note. 7.30... Zero hundred, so midnight to 7.30 sleeps. Wakes up at 7.31, turns off alarm immediately. Checks transcribe. On computer various tasks. Takes a shower. Puts on uniform. Exits apartment. I almost, to a T, followed that scenario. I don't know if that actually, like, records what I actually did. If I didn't go into the shower, would it have registered that I'd taken showers? I don't know. Utilities. Audio events. Refer to test run program of, for timing of audio events. Pigeon visuals have been disabled due to a glitch in the render data. Hey, Morgan. Wake up. You're burning daylight. Send the helicopter to pick you up. It's just a few tests. Don't forget to wear your suit. See you soon. What about the oh, suit? What's listen, interesting? Uh, really great you decided to come on board. We're gonna shake things up, Morgan. Like old times. Huh. Okay. You need levels of leverage in order to pick up heavier stuff. Is our brother real? Probably not. Re daily tale regarding oh okay there's it's a weapon wheel that's what it is I didn't mean to do that I don't want to damage this how do I focus on this by the way uh examine there we go let's read this if you uh, have been on branches of our main product line you know that sometimes we need to put in a little extra effort at our milestones and any external risks are fully taken into account when these decisions are made the move to extend indefinitely was a direct request from both Alex and Morgan, Sylvain Bellamy, to Evelyn McCarthy. Dr. Bellamy, at this point, Morgan's exhaustion is inhibiting our ability to get any useful results. That's to say nothing of the long-term damage we're likely inflicting from the constant neuromod installation removal. Tell me again why we've, why we've extended the testing indefinitely. What are they testing for? A note about this morning from Alex, you know he's real, to Neuromod Division. I know this morning's incident has left people shaken. To prevent unnecessary panic, please refrain from contacting people outside of your department. A station-wide announcement will be made shortly. In the meantime, Ms. Laser and her security team are on high alert and will field any requests you have. I know some of you are worried about Dr. Bellamy. He's currently being treated in the trauma center and is, and is in a critical but stable condition. Thank you for your patience and dedication to this project. Our brother might be an arsehole. These are all... I assume all of these are... What's the pigeon test? That's exactly what I thought it might be. And there's the audio of the helicopter landing. Have they been repeating the same day over and over and over again? Okay, back. Hmm... Take more plastic tubing and more frayed wires. I'm sure I can do some crafting, so that might be useful. And if I check my inventory, yes, there will, of course, be... Uh, it will be taking up space. Now, scope chipsets, none available. No chipsets available. There's no skills, as far as I can tell. It might just be down to chipsets you'll need. So, leverage one will probably be a chipset of some description. But I can pick up a cardboard box just fine. Oh. And then throw it. Not very far. Huh. Well, there's no obvious way to go. It's not giving me waypoints, which is always good news. 
There is clearly an operating chair. I can hear something opening and closing. Is that people moving or is that just... Something opening and closing. Debriefing safe. Alright, let's do this. No, <laughs> one, I'm, I'm gonna, uh, every time I, until it comes up, every time I see a, a number code, I'm gonna be checking 0451. Because it's gonna be a one. It's gonna be the answer to one of our, our key codes. Manufacturing order number 65489, delivered to Marco Simmons from Fabrication Department. SKU number TSNM008X3, marking the entire SKU as defective. Investigate with Fabrication Marco. Something that they gave to me was defective. Password ICOP0876. Alright. Marco Simmons has three emails. Reminder about the company. Uh, just a friendly reminder from the relevant portion of the policy handbook. Password protection. Do not share password with anyone. Passwords are sensitive, controversial, confidential information. Password must, passwords must not be inserted into email messages, transcribed conversations, or other forms of communications. Do not write down passwords. Moron. Also, and store them anywhere in your office. If you suspect your password has been compromised, report it to IT immediately. Users will be held responsible for any activity that occurs on a workstation that has been compromised and not reported. So he was telling him, stop putting your freaking passwords on post-it notes and sticking them to your computer, where any old idiot could just hack into your, well, just get into your computer. It's not even hacking, it's just using the password. From Danielle show to Marco Simmons, and Bellamy knew about it as well. A note about this morning, yes, that's from Alex Hugh, we've already read that, and bad install. Simmons, the tests today were all negative. Did you install the correct neuromods? Touch base with Graves and figure out what went wrong. This should be your absolute highest priority. From Alex Yu to Marco Simmons, presumably about my test. They did say there was something on about it. Did I not get the neuromods I was supposed to have? I can probably speculate all day long and it won't get me anywhere. What's that doing? What was that? Trash can. Empty. Alright, I should probably... No, maybe I shouldn't dawdle quite as much. Oh. The Hephaestus Heffy Twist and Loop Handle Wrench is standard issue for all maintenance personnel employed in the Transstar facilities. Good for liberal application of progressive maintenance and mechanical agitation. Not so good for actually turning things you need to be turned. In other words, hit things with it. All wrench attacks will drain your stamina. Press and hold mouse one to charge your attacks for maximum damage. Okay. Womph. Okay. Uh, the phone is not being broken. Now, there are two ways to go. This gets me back into my original apartment, which, of course, isn't real. Oh, that feels great. Vaulting over things just fluidly. It just incorporates it all. Is there another way out? I want to know. Oh, there's a way around. Now I can open the doors from the other end. What the? Oh my god, I ran right past the damn thing. Am I going to have to fight it? I hit it with my wrench. I can hear something. I don't know if I was supposed to kill it or... God, I don't like that. Oh my god. Ugh. That is gross. Question mark corpse. Typhon organ, shotgun shells, and a mimic tumor. Take necropsy required. I guess I'll take this. I want those shotgun shells. Oh, that thing is... Uh, I don't like spidery shaped things. That reminds me of those enemies in... Into the Radius, if you've ever played that game. The... I don't know what they're called. They're the ones that, that made me stop playing that game. In VR, that is about the least inviting thing you can show me. I do not like the look of those guys. I don't need more sparkling wine. 
Alcohol is probably not the answer in this case. I keep <laughs> clicking to pick stuff up now. Yeah. Alright, through this way. Now I can hit the, um, oh, that's the, I don't know what this is. I guess I'm heading this way. There is the fake. Okay, so I went in, what I, what she does is she goes into the elevator and it takes her to the same floor. It just closes and doesn't go anywhere. You'd think you'd notice the fact that the, there isn't any, like, feeling of gravity changing. And then you get a big, you don't really need the, I suppose you do, actually. She sees it from the outside. With a helicopter that is actually articulated. And there's the pilot. It was just a recording. This is a trippy start. What do they think I have or have done? What have I done? Transstar, that thing's flipping out. This was the, again, I don't even move around in the helicopter. I get in, it drops me off, I get out meters away. And then once again, I go into another elevator up here, and it just moves. I go, I go into here, don't move anywhere, and they move everything around here. It's all set dressing. I like this. I like this start. I like the intrigue. The method, Psy. Excerpt from the Architect's Neurological Revolution. That's the same I, thing I have just read inside Yu's apartment. Medkit. Yeah, definitely. Quick select menu allows you to quickly alternate between weapons and powers. Well, that does that. T to view more. How do I get to the quick select menu? Foot wheels by selecting the item on skill and then pressing a number key to assign. Favorites wheel. So if I... Go into this and select that. That's set to one. If I set that to R menu, what? Split. I don't think I want to do that. Oh, wait. Oh, hang on. Select that. R menu, unfavorite. Oh, no, there it is. It's set to two now. There we go. Okay, got it. Sorry, I had to I had to check how that worked. Alright, so you can set any number as long as you're selecting it. And I take it that can be... Well, I think that's set to E. Based on this, it's set... There's the med kit set to the E key. And E, C, Q, and Z. C seems to be food. Oh, don't do that. I, can't, I gotta right-click to get out of that menu. Okay. Just getting used to everything. Press OK to reset the simulation. And there it is, flipping everything over, so I feel like I'm on a different level, but of course, that is not the case. It's just, it's very, it's very involved set dressing. I'm at 100 health, I didn't, another one of you. But you're behind a window now. You want to tell me what that is? Typhoon Cacoplasmus. Be careful what you pick up. Mimics in the sense of RPGs where chests, for instance, so they convert from objects to monsters, much like mimics in fantasy RPGs and the like. Are these good for anything? I guess I'll find out. Burnt circuit board. Can't carry any of these. Needs upgrades. Leverage seems to be important, although I don't know. I'll find out. Crumpled paper. Nope. <laughs> I've just got a- I can throw a piece of rolled up paper at the monsters, I doubt it'll do much. I'm going this way. Do you have a map? No, I do not. Uh, exit to lobby, skill recorder, and stage B control room. Stage B. There's the simulation labs. This is such a massive effort for me. They've put a lot of money into making me think I'm in an apartment somewhere on Earth. I mean, this requires a crap load. That goes out. All right, let's explore anywhere that isn't the way that says exit. 
got quite a jump to us. Suggesting not really Earth gravity, or she's got some kind of enhancement. You're a Grit Mickelson. Greet Mickelson. You've got an apple on you. Take that. And I can carry... If I hold, I can... Oh! Drag people around by the legs. Not really carry, exactly. It's more of a... Drag. And I can throw this one. Oh my god, I... God, that thing is so disgusting. I hate it. I guess I'm taking the organ. I need to perform necropsies on it. Simulation scene, load, Earthside, locals, Earthside, echelon to transstar, dot uh, LGV81. Server status, okay, okay, okay. Note for technical issues. Contact Dr. Lorenzo Calvino or Miyu, or Mayu Akabi. Oh, Looking Glass. <laughs> it's called Looking Glass. Awesome. Scenes switching in progress. Echelon roof. All of that comes down. Of course, the windows in the helicopter are simulated VR mode. Fucking... Jesus. They don't do, like, immediate damage, but they're bloody like it's not really a jump scare but it is bothering me oh that looks very nice sorry that's not real turn off that's called looking glass okay so the vr thing is called looking glass those mimics are all over the place apparently and i've only got a wrench to defend myself with and i'm gonna hit those freaking weird tar spider monster things are we on the- we were on the space station, we must be. This game takes place on a space station. So, we must be- that's where we must be. Jovan Gravelich. Oh, I, j I j jumped a leg right down his friggin' throat. Oh, and it got stronger. And multiplied. No, thank you. No one has been able to stop the mimics from multiplying since they broke containment. I'm going to help you stay alive. Just a little further. Okay. I, I need something better than a wrench to stay alive. I'm gonna have to... Okay. They're not difficult to kill. Where did it go? Oh, they're hiding as objects, little bastards. I hate them. Another med kit. I want as many of those as I can get. Yeah, I'll take these, I suppose. I saw them run away. They're in here somewhere. Whiteboard. Remote manipulation. Mixer filler. Question mark. Non-local. Superluminal. Superluminal? Faster than light. Why is it... What's that got to do with anything? Okay, the guy who just died has emails. These seem to be... hold on. We'll need the room updated to test... to, to the new test plan configurations are as follows. Room A, area of effect. Room B, copycat. And room C, spooky action. Let us know if anything changes. Stephen Bellamy. They're using this as entertainment, and that's of course about Alex Yu and Urgent. From... The corpse vanishes. New objective. Okay, hang on. I think this is it. Search for Bellamy's corpse in the trauma center. I think I hadn't actually read it yet, but I think it might be this one. From Marco Simmons to Jovan Gr Gravilovich. Hey, I think Bellamy's taken data related to mimicry and remote manipulation out of the research department. Get to the trauma center and grab the key card to the cabin of his body. You know he's dead. I'm sorry to be morbid, but Alex will lose his shit if he finds... if someone else finds that data too. Okay. Alex... Is, do you think Alex is responsible? Patricia Varma, Marco Simmons, Evelyn McCarthy... Now, some of these names are rec I recognize, some of these I don't. You were already dead. 
Mike Turner. I think everyone I've run across is going to have a name, by the way, which is impressive. Experiment with different approaches to overcome challenges and enemies. You can get past the locked door by searching for the key card or finding an alternate path. Well... Oh, it moved. There's a, there's a mimic over there. I'm gonna... Come on, pop up. Do it. Okay, I can look for a way through there or I can find an alternate path. One thing I did I did remember reading is that alternate paths are often up. That is a direction you can point. Caleb Hawthorne. Stand up notes. Reorder tests. Lucia on observation. See Bellamy. Flammability tests cancelled cancelled indefinitely. Alex wants to greet Morgan before the test. It feels like they've been repeating that often, so I don't know. Oh, God. I got all over me. Ew. I'll take another organ, I suppose. How many of those can I carry? Do they stack? They do. Good. Where would the alternate path be? Uh, maintenance access panel. Okay, well, there's your alternate path. I can climb up here. Let's take the alternate path. Screw it. Let's go through the maintenance access panel. I can't be bothered looking for a friggin' card. Probably didn't need to actually do that. We've got a stamina bar, so I've got to worry about that. Now, there is a corpse. My objective, by the way, if I check O, was to get to the main lobby, and there's an optional objective, search for Bellamy's corpse in the trauma center in the lobby. So I've got to get to the lobby anyway and find the trauma center. And that'll be... I'll look... There's no... Uh, I'm not fighting that, surely. That looks too strong for me. That was a phantom. Typhon Anthrophantasmus. Keep moving. You've recorded all of these guys. I can't... I'm sure... You don't expect me to fight that with a wrench, do you? Oh, that's a light. V. There we go. Square light. Very interesting. Very rare for video games to have anything other than a... Methuselah apple. Very rare for anything to be a, other, anything other than circular. I think it's going to come round here, but I'm going to read it. Noetic research, like all bold new ideas, has undergone a predictable pattern in the scientific community. First, skeptics ridicule the idea since it violates conventional wisdom and the laws of science. Second, skeptics gradually concede the idea might be possible in some circumstances, but the evidence is weak. Third, the idea captures the attention of mainstream researchers and, more importantly, the public. Finally, the same skeptics who once laughed at the idea now claim that they thought of it first. Mm, I don't know if that's necessarily true. Sometimes things are just wrong. Mimic. Where? Okay. Tutorial. Many objects on Talos 1 can be repaired if you have enough repair skill and enough spare parts. Hold G until the repair is completed. But I don't have any skills or n any knowledge of how to get skills. Like, it it would be up here, surely, somewhere, but I can't see. Oh, you can auto-sort. I don't know where it's sorting. I'll sort by name, sort by type, sort by size, sort by... Yeah. Okay. Sort by size. I want the bigger things in the top left. So, I'm not sure. I'll f I guess it'll it'll teach me what to do later. There you are. Oh, got me. That time it actually got me. Okay, what was it? Scroll back and hit C. I think this will be like a little bit of food and that'll give me a little bit of health. I don't want to use a med kit on 72. There we go. Did I just eat all of the food I had? Yes, I did. Wow, I thought it, I had multiple of each one. Okay. Well, I'm back up to 100 in any case, and my 
shields or armor is down to 96. Is that going to regenerate or something? i got to use a health kit next time. Some kind of... Well, it looks like a electromagnet. Do not enter. Okay. Well, I want to look, though. Can't go up there. Let's not carry the can. Glue cannon. Well, yes, glue gun was trademarked. Alright, we'll try it. 